Hello everyone, welcome to channel study in Slovakia. Today we have a very attractive uh, guest, uh, Anj Dima from India, who is a student at, uh, un uh, at Economic University in Bratislava. And we will be discussing all his, uh, all his details and all his trip to Slovakia and so on. So make sure to, to watch the full video. And if you have any questions, you can also then post it under the video. So hello Anj, how are you? Hi Peter, I'm doing very well. It's been really nice in Slovakia and it's been a really long journey from India to Slovakia. So yeah, so can you please tell us a few words about you, like uh, which uh, city uh, are you from, like what do you study and uh, and like this basic information? Yeah, for sure. So I'm Anj Tehman and I've been living in New Delhi. I've been born there and from New Delhi to Bratislava, Slovakia. I've been preparing for the program Bachelor's in Business Economics and Management. It's a three years bachelor's program specified in BSc in Slovakia and it's taught in English. And currently I just finished my second year exam. So two years are completed. Looking forward for the last year. Mm -hmm. And to describe more about the study program and the differences in Slovakia in my own country, it's very practical in Slovakia, in European culture, I guess, the study programs. Because in India, we used to work a lot on the theories. But when I started studying here, I used to work every week on several projects, several assignments, presentations. So it's really nice and I like it here. It's going really smooth. Uh, so can you uh, explain how did admission to this study program work? And like, is it based on the submitted uh, documents or did you need to do some entrance exam? Yes. First, you need to apply to the website, study portal, which will be provided by the university. Once you contact them, that you are willing to apply in their program in the upcoming semesters, the help from the coordinators from the university is really nice. They guide you through every step. I, I presented my all the documents from my high school and all the studies I had in India. Then mm -hmm. they approved it. Then they gave me uh, application fees was 60 euros. And then I had to wait for the exam. There was one entrance exam. It was basic entrance exam in which, uh, which was covering all the fields, all the subjects I've been, I will, will be going to study in my bachelor's throughout the bachelors. So basically, according to the timeline, the exams happens between May or June. And then you get your results in July. And then you can start your studying and visa process everything from August. And in September, you can come here. Okay, that sounds really interesting. So how many uh, classmates do you have in your class? My program is basically English taught for international students. So I have somewhere 12 to 13 students in some classes. Mm -hmm. In some classes, we have more because they are some professors are taking classes together with the other batches also as only international students. So currently in my own classes and in my own specific subjects, we have like 13 students. Some of uh, them so are from Russia, some of them are from Ukraine, some of them are from Turkey, from South mm -hmm. Africa also. So you, we have nationalities in our class. Yeah, so does it mean like some classes or like or you have maybe some classes also with exchange students or? Yes. Or so? Okay. For sure, we have exchange students. Every year, every semester, we have Erasmus students. Mm -hmm. They are also studying in English, so for sure they mix us up with them and we have classes together. But it's really nice because when you come here, you find a lot of connectivity and connections with a lot of Erasmus students. People are coming from Greece, Spain, Paris, Luxembourg, like from every European countries, people, students are coming and it's really nice in Elba actually. Mm -hmm. So how many study programs uh, is your university offering? Uh, apart from your bachelor program? From like bachelor's? From mm -hmm. bachelors, we have three study programs currently. One mm -hmm. is in national economics, one is in applied economics, and one is business economics and management, which mm -hmm. are available in English. But uh, in masters, you have around seven or eight programs like management in tourism and culture, in international relations, in finance and planning, taxes and accounting. In masters, you have options in if you want to study in English. But in bachelors, you only have three courses for now. But yeah, university is trying to bring more courses every year. Because when <laughs> I applied, there were only two courses. And now we last year, they added one more. 
third courses and for hopefully this year also they're going to add one more course so what do you like maybe the most about the university um is it i don't know locality or is it the study courses or the study subjects or maybe the professors what what is the, so, the biggest benefit of studying at your university if you are coming from a third world country where the study program is really different it will going to help you build your personality your confidence because i still remember when i and when i had my first presentation in 2021 september i was kind mm -hmm. of nervous like i'm doing this stuff for the first time i prepared the documents and presentation and everything but when it was the time to present i was feeling a little bit shaky and nervous but throughout mm -hmm. the time it went away now you really have oh, i can make presentations i can it doesn't matter how many people are sitting in front of me so mm -hmm. it builds you as a personality you give confidence to you even if you go after like bachelor's to do a job you'll have or you're already going to have a confidence of how to research what point to cover and what you can give the most out of it and your the way you are talking with your audience so it builds every small aspect of your personality and it helps you really much so i like that in my personal opinion that this is really nice it's just up building and uplifting your character and your personality it giving you confidence so it's really nice the way they are practically handling all the subjects and assignments so when speaking about the practical point of your studies like does it mean that you have also some internships or some cooperation with the companies or is it like or everything yes. takes place just at university no for sure we have uh, like every semester twice we have one a day probably where the companies company like few of the companies like kpmg pwc decathlon some like other companies they you know they come into the universities they offer internships and the, the job opportunities for the students who are finishing their job mm -hmm. and the people from their companies they stay there for one or two days and they explain everything to the students so yeah they are they are offering you opportunities as well so what kind of position this uh, company is to offer for the internships internships some slovak uh, skill or is it purely english based it's actually both it, it does for they have available for the international students also and for slovak uh, students they have more opportunities because some of the companies have for masters actually they have higher positions they require the study level of fourth or fifth grade which is masters and they offer nice job opportunities there and they're offering more internships for the students who are in second or third grade okay so yeah. did you already get some option to 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 um, get some internship or how how does it look in your case in my case i'm still uh, trying because i spent my first year online in 2021 and in 2022 second year i was here and i was applying i applied through henkel i applied for uh, PWC and for Swiss Re also but yeah I got through the interview for Henkel and they just needed someone like who had a little bit more experience with Slovak I'm learning I'm still on like the A2 level and I can't, and they needed someone with the B2 or C1 so I was liking there somewhere but still I'm learning I'm in the progress for Slovak and getting better so it won't be a you know a hold back for me Uh, okay, uh, so how about accommodation? Is the university offering you some place to stay, yes. or do you need to look by yourself? Actually, with the economics university in Bratislava, you have, I guess, around six or seven places around Bratislava, mm -hmm. in which they offer accommodations for mm -hmm. everyone, for Slovak and for international students, and three in four of them they offer for international students. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy to get the. accommodation with them and accommodation places are also nice they are equipped with microwaves like the basic necessities and it's really why you have wifi you have kitchen to cook for yourself you have option if you want to live in a single room or in a like in a sharing room with other students so mm -hmm. it's not that kind of a hard thing to find an accommodation with the university so what what is the pricing approximately for pricing from pricing varies somewhere between 80 to 110 it's according to the dormitories and it's really really nice pricing in bratislava as i've been mm -hmm. living here for one year and i'm working as well as mm -hmm. a part time so it's really affordable for students and it's a really nice place to live this mm -hmm. place is nice the chief for the dormitories and the people working in the 
dormitories are nice so it's it's really good okay yeah because like 80 to 110 like per month but yeah i i suppose in bratislava it's like very good price no? it's very like, good price in bratislava like finding flats for this uh amount like must be really difficult yeah, yeah so uh you mentioned like you work uh part-time so like as a student um in like for a student in Slovakia, like how how many hours are students allowed to work uh per month, month or? per month they are allowed to work 80 hours and it's enough when you like get a job mm -hmm. uh for the first few months like for two three months it will be really hard you can mm -hmm. say not that much hard but you will have to struggle a little bit to get a job as you are an international student. If you have any other languages like French, German, you can up start applying in the companies. It will be easy, but finding a part-time job like in Domino's, McDonald's, or in some restaurants, you can find that also, but for the long term, you can't depend on those. Mm -hmm. And if you find nice environment in the job, it can suit you, but for sure you have to work for the internships and jobs. It's mm -hmm. not that hard, but it takes a little bit like from two to three months to find a nice job. But you have opportunities like bold food couriers, and it's also OK. Like it's it's sufficient for the students. Most of mm -hmm. my friends are doing bold and bold as a courier when they're getting free times. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really oh, nice with them. Please tell me, like, uh, is it is it difficult to, to combine the part time job and your classes? Like, do you have many classes per week or? Or like you can combine it easily you can manage it uh, like really easy because you have classes mostly three days a week probably mm -hmm. from tuesday wednesday and thursday mm -hmm. and you will gonna have time even if you want to work after your study after your college college basically like last lecture on every day finishes at or 6 30 the most of the times but yeah you only have for three or four days you don't have like for the whole week in the classes so you can manage your work sometimes on weekends or maybe after the school so mostly it's from monday to thursday for international students and mm -hmm. they are only till 12 5 and 3 sometimes so it's okay to manage with mm -hmm. economics university with our in our courses okay and are the all classes all the subjects are there in the same building or do you have some maybe in the main campus and some in oh, it's, or... it's it's in the same building because we have two building structures for the uh, university and for international students they try for the english taught program they try to keep it in the one building sometimes mm -hmm. it's it's like on the second building but only for a few subjects and few professors it's not mm -hmm. mandatory that yeah you're gonna have it in another building how is the language uh, skills of the professors like do they speak fluently or yeah every professor who are teaching they speak uh, english very well they speak mm -hmm. it very slowly like they ask students if it's okay they, they it's with professor it's professor it's really good so do you also get maybe some visits from the companies and some special lectures by the guests uh, uh guest we teacher? have yeah from the guest teacher we do have special we have like uh, the lectures but mm -hmm. from with from the companies i'm not sure about it in our mm -hmm. program because we never had it yet and i'm not sure about the third year but for the guest lectures yes we have uh i have met some once there was one professor from serbia uh, from the economics university he came to give us the lecture once a guy from uh, vn university also came to provide a lecture so yeah guest lectures are there and mm, the from the company company visits it's not sure till now but in third year probably it can happen because it's the last year and the companies and students are approaching them so looking forward to it mm -hmm. yeah so you live in Bratislava, which is capital of slovakia so can you give um some your impressions about the city uh, as to someone who never been in slovakia or in Bratislava? Like how is the city like uh, the city what is you, what maybe you don't like about the city the city is quite nice i can say i have been to other cities in europe also mm -hmm. and i find this city is really peaceful and quiet mm -hmm. Bratislava, still it's the capital but it's really 
quite a nice here everywhere like if you go for the grocery shopping or in the malls you have really nice like activities to do every time mm -hmm. and there are not so many people always but transportation is also good the connectivity is also good we have like five prior paths of bratislava and in every path you have the, all the connectivities even in the night also and the old town is always awake so it's a really really nice impression of the city for me because i have been to other cities like uh, prague and madrid and bratislava is so peaceful and quiet yeah i think there are also there are many international flights from bratislava there's like international yes. airports yes 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 so i've never traveled from bratislava like the, with the flights but i have mm. seen a lot of flights around mm. bratislava so for example from uh, new delhi to to bratislava like what is the best connection like can you get the, the flights to bratislava or to vienna or what to is vienna that? is the best connection as mm -hmm. uh, it will only be 8 hours and it will be a direct flight from new delhi to bratislava and, and uh, it's really like it's only 15 minutes away from vienna airport there mm -hmm. are connectivity from flixbus and slovak lines and it's mm -hmm. it's really easy transportation Mm -hmm. um as as bratislava is a uh, capital like uh, do you maybe know more about the expat uh, community uh, like the foreigner community in the bratislava like are there many foreigners yeah. i mean not just students but maybe also the working uh, the working people. expats yeah there are i have met a lot of uh, indians who are on work permit here mm -hmm. people from nigeria who are on work permit here mm -hmm. so bratislava have a lot of expats and people from the Syria and Turkey they are working mm -hmm. and some of them were students here now they are working some of them directly came on the work permits so Bratislava have a balanced ratio of international people like on work permit and on the students so are there maybe also some meetings or in this community or like do you do you, can you meet other foreigners easily or uh, yeah, you can you can easily meet them and you can get to know them sometimes they're working with you uh, in your place because most of them are students and otherwise uh, there are a lot of festivals and events are always happening in Bratislava so you mm -hmm. can go there and meet them and it's it's not quite difficult to find a, a, like another nationalities here like for uh, Indians we also have a group here in mm -hmm. which sometimes we contact and we play cricket sometimes it's like a very famous sports in india and sometimes mm -hmm. people from slovakia look okay how oh, they are playing cricket here and it's really surprising for them so it's mm -hmm. nice we we do have communities like this you also have facebook groups to help you it's nice sometimes they help you in getting a flat or maybe if someone else is someone else is moving out of the city they tell that we are moving out we're selling this stuff if someone needs so Facebook groups are really helpful to connect with them. Okay, and maybe one of the last questions, like what is your plan after the graduation? Like, do you wish to continue for the master's or maybe to get some work experience? Like, what do you plan to do once you graduate? Yes, for me, once I graduate, I would like to stay in Slovakia for some time and work mm -hmm. here. Or probably I will, I will give a break to master's. I will probably apply for the master's or pursue it after two years of working. Because I, I want to gain some experience and I have a plan in mastering in marketing. Mm -hmm. So I would like to have some experience before that. And basically, I'm looking forward to stay in Bratislava in Slovakia. Because it's really suitable and it's really affordable to live here when you're working here. But for sure, I'm looking forward to other opportunities in the Euro Eurozone, in Vienna or in Germany. I will gonna apply for the jobs, mm -hmm. yeah, but in masters, in our university, it's not that expensive to pursue it. Mm -hmm. Like how much is it approximately? It's around two thousand euros, two thousand five hundred for English taught programs, and for bachelors, it's fifteen hundred euros mm, per so year. I think compared to other universities, universities, it's a little bit cheaper than that. Because if in, if I know correctly, in there are other universities like Communist and STU, 
mm-hmm. and to pursue masters from there it's around 3000 euros mm-hmm. per year i guess some of my friends are there i met them in bratislava okay. uh, in some of the events yeah i think like there's also management no at comenis university uh, yeah okay and maybe when we speak about uh, pricing like uh, approximately what is your monthly expenses like a monthly budget monthly budget here it's like around 500 now i i say because around 100 you spend on accommodation mm-hmm. and then the mobile expenses and we the bus pass is really cheap when your students so somewhere around 400 to 5 500 is like maximum for a student here yeah? but mm-hmm. around 400 it varies sometimes it's less sometimes it's more mm-hmm. but the basic necessity will going to cost around 300 for students now with the mm-hmm. groceries with the monthly living travel passes and all that so mm-hmm. okay so the last question would be like if someone uh is thinking to apply to economy university in bratislava like what might be suggestion would you make uh to to them like it can be anything like whether it's good idea to apply or how to prepare for the admission process how much time to have in an advance to apply like what would be your suggestion for okay, the would, students as per the like admi- admission process in our university they open their application process from october to mm-hmm. march mm-hmm. and in that period in that six month period you can apply that you want to be a student in the upcoming year and i would suggest to apply around jan and feb then you can wait till they tell you that when you're going to have your exam i guess still the fees is 60 euros for the application and then you can give your exams you just need i probably say after applying after march you need to two months or one month to prepare for the entrance exam they do give time of one month Uh, and they also tell you like what subjects or what topics they're going to cover in it mm-hmm. and it's not that hard in my opinion because if you can if you're willing to study hard and if you're willing to do the hard work it's not that like it's not that big of a milestone that you can't achieve it's mm-hmm. really easy because you just have to focus on the european history and the subjects you are going to pursue you just need the knowledge and cracking the exam with university is it's easy it's not, i'm not going to say it's like really hard but it lies in some way middle mm-hmm. okay uh, so i think you had exam for mathematics right yes from yeah. mathematics from business economics and from the history of europe okay and yeah from these subjects okay so you say like it's not too hard but maybe also not too easy no not too easy yeah it's somewhere lies in like the intermediate level you can say yeah like to i i i can confirm that like uh, for, from the point of view of the pricing like your university is really affordable yeah. also within the capital and uh, yeah. there's big uh, expat community and maybe that makes it more easier to to manage also by the part time work part time work yeah you can you can find them here it's, it's not that hard yeah maybe maybe only uh maybe only disadvantage is this are these deadlines i think now the uh economic university switched the deadlines to end of february but everything yes. can, can be checked at uh, their website the website uh, everything is available there yeah and i think also the admission coordinator she is very helpful so uh, yes you can even if you are just waiting to get some information you can the email is available on their website you can just uh, email them and they're going to help they're going to help and they're going to explain in very nice way and they're mm-hmm. always willing to help yes yeah, so anshu it was very nice uh, speaking to uh, today uh it's we have for you. me to remember all the process i have been through in the last two years and i really thank you to you for giving me this opportunity to share the information with other people and for sure i'm looking forward if someone needs my help in future in contacting them and helping yeah. them through in the university. Yes, uh like all people are encouraged to write their comments uh yes. below the video. Mm-hmm. Uh, then you can like respond uh, to those. Yes, for uh, sure, for sure. Yeah, like because uh, university it's I I can see that they try hard to promote more and 
to introduce the new programs, also to compete with the affordable fees. So uh, I think it's a very good idea for them. And uh, I can see that also the students are there satisfied with their uh, education. So that's, uh, of course, the best results and uh, the best what the university can uh, hope for. Yeah, so thank you, uh, Anj. And um, if you like this video, like you can definitely subscribe and give it a like, share with your friends, and hope to see you at the next episode. So have a nice day, and hope to see you in Slovakia soon. Thank you. See you.